Welcome to LitBits Nutshell Books at the Tale Teller Book Club. This is a concise summary of The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Introduction The Picture of Dorian Gray is a novel by Oscar Wilde, published in 1890, that explores themes of aestheticism, moral corruption, and the nature of beauty. The story follows a young man named Dorian Gray who, influenced by a friend's hedonistic philosophy, wishes that a portrait of himself would age instead of him. As Dorian indulges in a life of excess and vice, the portrait bears the marks of his sins, while he remains outwardly youthful and beautiful. Chapter Breakdown Chapter 1-2 The Introduction of Dorian and the Portrait Summary The novel begins with a conversation between artist Basil Hallward and his friend, Lord Henry Wotton. Basil has painted a portrait of a beautiful young man named Dorian Gray. When Dorian meets Lord Henry, he becomes fascinated by Henry's hedonistic worldview, which suggests that beauty and sensual fulfillment are the most important things in life. Dorian wishes to stay young forever, while his portrait ages in his place. Key quote, the only way to get rid of a temptation is to yield to it. Lord Henry. Connection to time period, reflects the late Victorian era's fascination with aestheticism and the belief in art for art's sake. Wilde was known for his wit and exploration of moral and social issues, often drawing from his experiences in high society. Chapter 3-4, Dorian's Downfall Begins Summary, under Lord Henry's influence, Dorian becomes more self-indulgent. He falls in love with an actress named Sybil Vane but cruelly ends their relationship when her acting disappoints him. That night, Dorian notices that his portrait has a slight sneer indicating the beginning of its transformation. Key quote, he grew more and more enamored of his own beauty, more and more interested in the corruption of his own soul. Connection to time period, the double life led by many Victorians, balancing public morality with private vice, is mirrored in Dorian's character. Chapter 5-8, The First Consequences Summary, Sybil Vane commits suicide due to her heartbreak over Dorian. Lord Henry convinces Dorian to view her death as an artistic triumph rather than a tragedy. Dorian notices his portrait becoming increasingly hideous as he continues his debauchery. Key quote, the girl never really lived, and so she has never really died. Lord Henry. Connection to Wilde's life, Wilde's own scandalous life and the secretive nature of his personal relationships during the conservative Victorian era resonate through Dorian's character arc. Chapter 9-12, The Corruption Deepens Summary, Dorian immerses himself in a life of sensual pleasures and immoral acts. He hides his portrait in an old schoolroom, where it continues to reflect the consequences of his actions. Key quote, there were moments when he looked on evil simply as a mode through which he could realize his conception of the beautiful. Connection to time period, aestheticism and decadence, movements in the late 19th century, emphasized beauty over moralism, which is central to Dorian's choices. Chapter 13-16, The Climax of Dorian's Corruption Summary, Dorian confronts Basil, who is shocked by the portrait's corruption. In a fit of rage, Dorian murders Basil. He then blackmails an old friend to help dispose of the body. Dorian sinks deeper into a life of crime and sin. Key quote, each of us has heaven and hell in him, Basil. Connection to time period, reflects the moral panic of the time surrounding vice and criminality hidden beneath a veneer of respectability. Chapter 17-20, Dorian's End Summary, racked with guilt, Dorian resolves to reform his life. However, when he looks at the portrait, he sees it has become even uglier, reflecting his insincerity. In an attempt to destroy the portrait, he stabs it. In doing so, he inadvertently kills himself. Dorian is found dead and aged, while the portrait returns to its original, youthful form. Key quote, it would be a terrible thing for the world if people were only to do what they are paid for. There is nothing good in this world, except youth and beauty and the possibility of pleasure. Connection to time period, the novel's ending suggests that the pursuit of pleasure without regard for morality leads to self-destruction, reflecting the societal tensions of Wilde's time why the book was groundbreaking in its lasting popularity. The picture of Dorian Gray was groundbreaking for several reasons. Exploration of aestheticism, 
Wilde's novel was a manifesto of the aesthetic movement, which argued for the value of art and beauty above moral or social concerns. Controversial themes, the book's open discussion of hedonism, vanity, and moral corruption was shocking to Victorian readers and led to critical backlash. Psychological depth, the character of Dorian Gray embodies a complex psychological portrait of guilt, vanity, and the duality of human nature, themes that remain relevant today. Film Adaptations 1945 Film This black and white adaptation is faithful to the book's tone and narrative, emphasizing the moral decay that comes with Dorian's eternal youth. 2009 Film This adaptation, titled Dorian Gray, updates the story for a modern audience, incorporating more explicit content to align with contemporary cinema's visual style. While it captures the essence of Wilde's themes, it takes creative liberties especially in its portrayal of certain events and characters. Conclusion The picture of Dorian Gray continues to captivate readers with its timeless exploration of vanity, morality, and the pursuit of pleasure. Wild sharp wit and unique perspective on Victorian society provide a critical lens that remains both insightful and relevant, making this novel one of the most enduring classics in English literature. This was a Lit Bits book by Sarnia de la Mer FRSA for the Tale Teller Club.